A Greensboro woman has a message to share. Cancer runs in her family, but she didn't think she'd have to face the fight so soon. At age 32, Chelsea Hazlip is battling stage three breast cancer. She says it could have been a lot worse if she didn't undergo genetic testing. This is what I'm supposed to inform other people of. This is, this is my way of helping other people. Chelsea Hazlip is going through a journey many of us will never experience. I knew that there was a chance, but before my mom had even gotten breast cancer, I just thought that it just sat with my, my grandma and her sisters. Hazlip helped her mother get through breast cancer in 2019, never missing an appointment. She made it seem so easy. Due to her family history, a doctor from her mother's team suggested she get genetic testing done. Hazlip was told she had the BRCA1 gene, a mutation that gave her a higher chance of developing breast or ovarian cancer. But she didn't think it would happen so fast. I had my mammogram in June and everything was perfectly fine. And then in October, I started to feel, you know, some pain. She found a lump and knew she had to get an MRI. She was luckily able to get one through a cancellation in November. Hazlip was diagnosed shortly after. I have invasive ductal carcinoma and it's stage three and I have stage three on the left and I have stage two on the right. Hazlip says it's important to know your family medical history. I don't want anybody else to go through the same thing that I'm going through. I don't want anybody else to experience the symptoms that uh, the side effects that I've experienced. She adds you should talk with your doctor about genetic testing if others have developed cancer. She says the combination of testing, keeping up with regular mammograms and paying attention to her body stop things from being worse. I just want to prevent this if possible because it's not easy at all. It's not easy emotionally, it's not easy mentally. <laughs> it's really hard. Now, Hazlip has gone through two rounds of chemotherapy. She has a 12 more to go, and then she's going to undergo a bilateral mastectomy and restruction and radiation. Now, she calls her mother her living angel and says she doesn't know how she would be able to get through this if she hadn't gone through it with her mom. And guys, the reason the genetic testing is so important, because she has that BRCA gene, she is getting regular mammograms. Usually that doesn't happen until mm -hmm. age 40. So because her mother and grandmother had it, she got that testing and she got it done and she found something and fought for her body. Tasha, I think that is such an important reminder to everyone uh, to know your family medical history and to make sure you're taking the steps, even though that recommendation is older. At 32, you can imagine what could be happening to her right now had she not been going to those reg regularly scheduled appointments. Yeah, and we hear it all the time, the two words, early detection. And it's not even just for this particular type of cancer. It's for really just about anything. Going to the doctor regularly, and if you notice anything different, not putting it off. I'm talking to the guys out there, too, that mm -hmm. tend to not go to the doctor if something uh, is bothering them. Uh, it's so important to do, and it really could be life-saving, a life-saving decision. Right, and to advocate, yeah. go ahead, Tasha. And I was just going to say, you just have to think about how strong she is right now because we're in the middle of a pandemic, mm -hmm. which means that she can't have anyone to go with her with those chemotherapy appointments. And, you know, she's like, I wish my mom was able to be there mm. for me like I was for her. Yeah, it was a heartbreaking interview, but also empowering. I think another reminder to be an advocate for your own health care as well.